this week, <laughs> my savings hack actually was a little pet peeve. It's ironic we're talking about it after this. I, I made a purchase at a store a couple weeks ago, and uh, it did get under my skin a little bit because <laughs> when I was making a purchase, I was probably asked five times in different ways what kind of service uh, or if I wanted a certain service or warranty or something to add to my purchase. So I was a little aggravated about that. So savings hack of the week is do not buy extended warranties. The, I, it doesn't matter uh, if you're in a vehicle, if you're buying a dishwasher, if you're buying a, a refrigerator, um, a pressure washer, uh, a chainsaw, you know, these companies aren't selling extended warranties because it saves you money as the consumer. They're selling extended warranties because it's a multi-billion dollar industry annually, and they make oftentimes more money off the extended warranty sale than they do off the product they're selling you. And if you're following the way we teach anyway, if you're buying it and you need it, you can afford to pay to fix it or replace it. So there's no need for the extended warranty. I think you're right there. I had an economics professor when I was at university and he used to teach something very similar uh, even then. You know, this was probably over 20 years ago now, but he would say that the vast majority of products that are going to fail usually do so either in the first year or not until after the extended warranty has expired anyway. So if you don't buy the extended warranty and you just keep the initial warranty and you somehow bought a lemon, then most likely it's going to suffer the failure during that initial period that you get anyway that you didn't have to pay extra for. Otherwise, you're going to pay all that money for the extended warranty and then the product isn't going to fail until right after that expires. And these folks have, you know, actuarial professionals that do all the data research on this. They know their own products very well. They know the failure rates. They know how long these products are going to last. I sometimes think they're engineered to last a certain amount of time so that you have to buy another one, you know, I, I talk to people all the time doing repairs of appliances and things like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, if you bought an appliance 30 years ago, keep it, if it's, especially if it's still running because <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it'll last longer than a brand new one. Um, and, it, you know, I don't know to the extent that that is necessarily true, but it's certainly the perception. But I do know that you're right about the... Uh, the extended warranties. I look at it like going to a casino. You know, if you like to play the slots and you sit down and you play one of the slots games and you're pulling the lever and, you know, ding, 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 you know, you win. Well, that's great for you. Everybody else sitting at the slot is losing. You know, the house wins overall. So if if you're the one that is paying for that extended warranty, there is a significant chance that you're just making the house that much richer. You know, yeah. you're you're paying for the product twice in a way. Yeah. And the one who benefits from that is them, not you. So I I totally agree with that. Yeah, those contracts are made. I don't I don't care which extended warranty it is who's standing behind it because you know almost always they're third-party companies that are doing the extended warranties yeah. it's not the company you're purchasing the product from in most cases so people need to keep that in mind they're thinking oh i'm dealing with my local buddy here at, at my car dealer they're going to take care of me no they have nothing to do with that extended warranty except the fact they got a nice commission check for selling it to you so um you know just just keep that in mind they don't benefit you and they're sold to make more money i went to a local I, I purchased a vehicle a few months ago brand new first time in my life actually bought a new vehicle um and when we're sitting in the office with the guy 
the finance manager. I don't know what fancy term they have for him now, but we were going through the paperwork and I'm thinking, why are we in this fancy office, you know, going through this contract? We're buying a car, you know, I, I can sit down at the salesman's desk outside and sign two papers or a bill of sale. Well, there was probably seven different extended warranty plans you could buy that they tried to sell you. We were in that man's office for one hour on something that should have been a five minute process, but he tried to get us a tire warranty, uh, a upholstery warranty, a paint warranty. And it's like, man, you know, so if you're listening to this out there, you're about to get a new car, be prepared. They're going to try to tack on two to five thousand dollars to your sales price in these extended warranties and it's very easy to get emotionally connected with that because you're spending so much money on something but right just yeah please yeah. be prepared for it and don't do it and, and what's even worse is that if you're borrowing you know five six seven year term and you're paying that extra six thousand dollars over the course of seven years man think of how much interest you're paying yeah. on top of that i mean exactly you're making everybody else rich and making yourself poor so you don't yes. want to do that the purposeful podcast